score YouTube. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, uh, U UK heavyweight, British heavyweight contender, uh, former heavyweight championship contender, uh, 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 Derek Sasora, you know, um, is in sparring with uh, uh, Anthony Joshua, former British unified heavyweight champion, uh, and um, preparing him for his upcoming showdown with uh, current unified Mexican heavyweight champion, Andrew Ruiz Jr. You know, um, uh, uh, he's helping Anthony Joshua prepare for the Andrew Ruiz Jr. fight. Uh, Anthony Joshua had a lot of, um, you know, controversy in that fight. You know, uh, he had a lot of uh, adversity in that fight. You know, um, he had to dig deep in that fight and uh, he couldn't do it. Andrew Ruiz Jr. was able to you know, uh, um, you know, uh, closed the show. He dropped him four times, ultimately stopped him, you know, in the seventh round. You know, um, uh, I don't know and I don't agree with Anthony Joshua choice of spawn partners. I think uh, guys like Joey Dueco is the perfect spawn partner for Anthony Joshua. Uh, he's the per perfect person to match up uh, um, uh, laterally, identically to me, in my opinion, with uh, um, Andrew Ruiz Jr. You can't get any better looks than Joey Dueco when you're trying to get somebody to mimic and give you looks of the opposition. You know, um, Joey Dueco is the guy who's been rumored to have knocked out Anthony Joshua and spawn ahead of their first fight. So uh, maybe there's some sort of um, uh, uh, um, friction or conflict there. And uh, Joey Dueco is now signed to ES, uh, um, signed the Matchroom, uh, top uh, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, and uh, the Zone. So uh, with that said, you know, um, I think that that's a fight that, uh, I mean, that's a match made in heaven as far as trying to get prepared for Andrew Ruiz Jr. But I guess uh, Anthony Joshua and his team, you know, feel otherwise, right? Uh, um, so they go on ahead, they got uh, uh, Andrew Tabidi, who's a, a cruiserweight uh, um, a contender. Uh, now they're bringing in Derrick Sosora. Derrick Sosora is coming off an exciting victory over um, David Price. You know, uh, he knocked out David Price in an um, exciting fight you know, to say the least. And now uh, he's going to be the chief spawn partner for Anthony Joshua ahead of his uh, highly anticipated rematch uh, December 7th in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Derek Sassora is a rough, rugged, tough guy. You know, Derek Sassora is going to get, is going to push Anthony Joshua. And I think that that's what they want. They want somebody to push Anthony Joshua. Uh, I, I definitely feel like Joey Dueco is going to push him. You know, I don't think that uh, Derek Sassora's style is going to mimic that style of Andrew Weeks. I don't know if it's going to give, uh, um, you know, um, Anthony Joshua the, the necessary looks he needs to prepare for, to prepare for Andrew Weeks. Now, he's already uh, um, faced Andrew Weeks. They went seven rounds, so he uh, somewhat knows what to expect uh, from Andrew Weeks because he's been in the ring with him. Uh, there's no better ex uh, teacher and no better experience than, you know, uh, experience. Experience is the best teacher, right? So with that said, you know, uh, uh, you know, let's see if uh, uh, um, Anthony Joshua learned his lesson, you know, uh, in this situation with uh, uh, Andrew Weeks. And now he's just trying to get rounds in. He's just trying to, you know, uh, um, get in the best shape and uh, um, get the best, you know, um, push possible, not just uh, strategy. It can't be strategy because Derry Sosora fights nothing like Andrew Ruiz Jr., nothing. Uh, um, Andrew Tabidi, he's young, he's a, a smaller stature, he has power, but he fights nothing like Andrew Ruiz Jr. So, you know, uh, they just not gonna give them the looks that Andrew Ruiz is gonna give them. Is this a big mistake on Anthony Joshua part and his team part? I personally think so. If you could bring in a guy like Joey Dueco, who is supposed to be a, a, a opponent, a replacement opponent for, you know, Alexander Usyk, and then uh, that that went left, you know. So now he's gonna um, um, uh, Joey Dueco is on the shelf. You understand what I'm saying? Joey Dueco is available. You dig what I'm saying? So why not use Joey Dueco? And they under under the same banner as well. So you know, I just think that it's a match made in heaven, in my in my opinion. I just think it's the perfect match, but. Like I stated, I believe that there may be some friction there because of what took place in training camp uh, ahead of the first fight. So I definitely think that there's going to be some there's some uh, friction there. So with that said, you know, uh, um, do I think Anthony Joshua's making a huge mistake not bringing in the proper spawn partners ahead of Andrew Weiss? I do. I think that uh, you need with somebody like Andrew Weiss. Uh, who has a, a very, very difficult style to deal with because of his stature and because of his athletic ability and because of his quick hand speed, you know, and his high ring IQ. 
you know, you have to have the proper preparation for that type of style. You understand what I'm saying? So bringing in guys like, you know, Andrew Tabidi and bringing in guys like, you know, uh, uh, Darius Sassoura, that's good to push you as far as, you know, they're going to push you in, in, in camp. But as far as strategy-wise, that's not a good strategy because they fight and they're going to give you none of the looks that Andrew Weez is going to give you. Uh, now, um, uh, um, Derry Sassora has a high ring IQ. Derry Sassora has nine losses on his resume, but he has a high ring IQ, right? So Derry Sassora can, you know, possibly, you know, watch tape and, and do his best to mimic Andrew Ruiz, but his style is just not, not of Andrew Ruiz. He don't, he don't have the uh, abilities. He doesn't, he doesn't have the quickness and the speed to mimic Andrew Ruiz. He doesn't have the, uh, uh, um, the stature to mimic Andrew Ruiz. So I think, I definitely feel like that's a mistake. Um, but you know what? Uh, um, if Anthony Joshua feels like uh, uh, you know he knows what it takes, then you know uh, um, maybe maybe he knows something we don't. But uh, you know this is part of the reason why you got guys like George Foreman and Andre Ward and guys like that that came out and they stated that you know they feel like uh, 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 um, Anthony Joshua, if he didn't know what he did wrong to correct the uh, mistakes that he made, he will come up short again. And uh, I think that uh, uh, this is a mistake, and I think that Anthony Joshua are, are going to come up short, man. I definitely feel like they're going to come up short. I think that, you know, it's a grave mistake, and I think that, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, they're not identifying. And I think that they're overlooking Andrew Weiss to a degree. I feel like they're, they're looking at the situation as it was a fluke. And I think that they truly believe that uh, he, he got gifted uh, 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 um, a, a award is by the heavens and they gifted him a right hand from the heavens and it hit Anthony Joshua on the right spot and then uh, you know you know they, they uh, Andy Ruiz capitalized on the situation you know so I kind of feel like they, they're, they're overlooking Andy Ruiz when it comes to that matter and I think that's a great mistake man but uh, I can't wait to see how this all plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Road. Derek Sassoura says Anthony Joshua is doing what it takes. To, uh, uh, to be victorious in the rematch. That's all I got for y'all after him sparring. Peace.